captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. So we got got on board. So here's our contact. About time you showed up. <clears throat> All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for oh I don't know three years now. Yeah. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns. And in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork. Like usual. I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gulf Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. He's pretty smart. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. It would seem we have little choice in the matter. We should hear him out. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. <laughs> Pull the but trigger. I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh no. Is shooting everyone an option? Alternately shooting ourselves to avoid it? Nah. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. 
Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship. Security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? I once saw Neva strip down a UC security ship and uh, sell the parts back to the UC through a shell company. If that doesn't put your concerns to rest, I don't know what will. Now yeah. tell me, what about the status of your plan? How can I help? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Bowl. I suppose we are good doing this I'd first. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. You seriously need to ask. Okay, I'll give you two reasons. First, Gold Bank protects their own. Kill Dombrowski, and they send Ecliptic after every Crimson Fleet ship they can find. Not something Delgado wants, I suspect. And second, you offer Gal Bank employee in every single Gal Bank facility in the settled systems will triple their security. I'm gonna guess that won't help with whatever your plans are regarding Galbag, now will it? Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen, not fresh. Shh, listen. Can't hear the engines, can ya? You? You're not gonna find better tuned engines anywhere else in the settled systems. Well, this is a pretty big ship. And this is basically a crew, crew Every area. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Siren. Is that, is that a toaster? You're a guest of Captain Brokaw, right? Welcome aboard. can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. You have nice armor. Okay, so this is where the rich, rich people go to Terran Preservation Society. Preserving the earth with one drink at a time. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Okay. Well, apparently the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. Bobo Patsas. It is a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state, but I'm glad the society has the nerve to do something about it. Nice. Nice to have met you. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Maybe we should shoot him. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Don't forget to keep your Starview pass handy at all times. Yes, 
He's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. That's all then? Okay. On behalf of myself and the entire team at Trident Luxury Lines, we wish to thank you for choosing to travel with us. Oops. Don't mind me. A starving Have you pass tried the canapes? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Don't forget to donate to the cause. For the safety of everyone aboard, please be certain you don't interfere with any of the crew or security members of our vessel. Nice being dough. So, what brings you aboard? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Enjoy the rest of the event. Any complaints about your cruise should be I certainly to hope they the decide staff. to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time? Uh -huh. Did you catch my meaning? I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Nice to have met you. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Hello. Hello. Are you a member right. of the society? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time. Okay, everyone left it. Well, that was boring. So, what brings you aboard? Quest only. An open bar would have been nice. Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Is this business? important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. Yes, it's quite marvelous, isn't it? Absolutely priceless. Alas, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the ceremony to see it in all its glory. It's far too valuable to be left anywhere else except the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Purser's safe. If you wish to have a drink at any of our lounges, be sure to present your cabin pass. So, we need to find the purser, not that guy. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Pleased yep. to make your acquaintance. Yeah. Claudia Swift is a low-level employee at Gold Bank. Barely holds a decent security rating there, so there's not much to tell. Her cabin was paid for by Dombrowski, and she's been hovering near him ever since they boarded the siren. Normally, that wouldn't raise any eyebrows, but the fact that Dombrowski's married to someone else, that changes people's perception just a little bit. Uh -huh. You have somewhere to be. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard. Hmm. This is nice. Less cards too. If this is not the very definition of decadence, I do not know what is. So we're working on having that changed. Decadence, yes. 
pretty much. So they have a swimming pool that's not swimming pool and some modern art. Fur, sir. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? My voyage would be perfect if I could see the prize. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. I'm sorry. It's against Trident policy to discuss our personal feelings towards a fellow crewmate. It's not about money. It's about my career. I get fired from Trident. That's it for me. Back to scrubbing tables at the Terra Brew. I don't want to lose my job. Why should I tell you? I hope I can try. <laughs> Critical you. success. All right, but you didn't hear this from me. Do you understand? I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov, but I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing some paperwork to his quarters one day, and I found a slate with a message he received from someone named Delgado. Uh huh. That would normally be fine, but the message mentions the Crimson Fleet as in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters somewhere. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Well, that's a that's a that's very interesting. Okay, we can we can talk to the lover of this bank person. Sorry, do I know you? Okay, wait. Are you seriously? Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, is it uh, working? I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. His wife. Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Yeah, sure you are. <laughs> and I'm the Princess of Jemison. You want to try any more bullshit? Nobody believes the, the truth. Oh no. That's true. You have come this far already. If you're trying to intimidate me by saying that, it's not gonna work. Okay, I'm, I'm failing. You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? Some money. You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. I do not Ordinary understand. In Your crime. anger is focused on Mr. Dombrowski, but clearly the failure of this plan rests on you as well. <laughs> if you had to work near him day in and day out, I think you'd understand. He's a disgusting pig, plain and simple.
Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Why, why call her crying? got crime? together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some bigwig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Okay. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So, on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? What, are you writing a damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any gal bank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Gal Bank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. <laughs> An open bar would have been nice. Hello. You here for the charity? Well, I work for you. I'm afraid I can't. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't... Whatever you think. We both know. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Here for business or pleasure. So talk, talk with Rokov. He he might have some something nice for us. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme but it's gonna be tricky the problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public we need to get vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows smart she put there's an white emergency, emergency. Standard practices for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown i think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors Manipulate a few controls, and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Uh, one thing that comes with kick in at that point and reports false positive in the sensors the ship's damage control system. Well, sounds like someone has been reading Starship manuals in their spare time. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant. It cause enough confusion, and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. Okay. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Get back to it. 
Oh, by the way, we're Should the life support. <laughs> There's access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview board. Okay, crew section. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time at the station as usual. Have fun with that guy. He's a, a real piece of work. Once you're past Sundin, just look for the room marked Environmental Control. Everything you need is inside. Go do something useful, okay? So Must you continue you these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I, I mean, it might be okay. I don't have time for this. Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. If the rest of this ship is any indication, I imagine there is an incredible amount of wealth stored in there right now. But does this, that person actually see what we are taking? These are luggages that look like a vacuum cleaners. Okay. This uh, is well maintained, uh, uh, to up. be sure, but this obviously the credits have passengers. all been spent on the areas Wait a the guests second. Actually You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Honestly, he's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years and the experience shows. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get rich quick schemes. It's all the guy ever thinks about. Yep. Why he decided to be a Starliner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though. For someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them when we play cards. Whatever you do, don't break anything. Or I'll be out of a job. In the event of Alpha life support failure, Beta will be auto-activated. It's unlikely that Beta has failed, Gamma will automatically activate The catastrophic failure has occurred, all three units are offline. Autonomity order to deploy environment suit will be broadcast to auto ship. Uh, gamma, Beta and Alpha. Yeah. Triple redundancy.
Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Turn to their cabins at this time. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. I always took him for a fool, but I can't believe he's stupid enough to have gotten mixed up with the Crimson Fleet. Yep, he's pretty stupid. Still. Why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over any evidence? All passengers, may I have Claudia your attention, said that. please? You sure? The captain Damn has it. A that means my money's already gone. Please report and the brusk is going to walk away fashion. with a fortune. Yep. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to end up on the Crimson Fleet shit list. But if I give you that information, it, it falls into the wrong hands. I'll end up in jail. This is a lose-lose situation for me. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. No, I didn't. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. Yep. You better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't, you got what you wanted. Just because I'm helping you nail Dumbra, how else am I going to ensure that? He... No, you... you better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. Well, well. I'm uncertain what. <laughs> oh, con. First, it... and second. Since we're speak, forgive me. In blunt, I assume that will there be much more of this? Oh, it was actually a rather. E it's the only thing of significance. It appears we. Oh, of course I. Now, if you are free soon, could we talk? Yeah, sure. I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? They are dedicated in their cause. This is rare and admirable, I think. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. 
Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the unique. settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in its place. Choice had nothing to do with it, not for me. But looking back, I understand their concern. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokop always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Excuse me. Heard you made off with something called the Earth back. Savior. Hmm. Glad to hear it. Damn Let's see what you got. Have you steal anything that isn't bolted down? Tisk tisk. Looks like Mr. Rokoff lied on his application to Trident Luxury Lines about having a clean record. No matter. Next time he jumps from the key, we'll have him picked up. That will be one less fleet captain for us to worry about. Any other fragments? Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. 
Well, Anything I don't else? think you are good at getting chat. <laughs> we'll be here if you need us. I am thankful he's right. Quick. I do not like being in small and closed spaces. Now we get to the cal bank. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. of nearly every individual. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Maybe you should Everything start finding out. a new job. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. So he he threw here and here and I, I don't know what I was thinking. So let's take them down. Helix be married. Hey. Andre, I go to the Good one. cover. What's with the mercenaries? Oh, they think I'm a I'm a Great tank load, wow. Bannock and Bannock 4, 8 attempts far. It have been trying to find it. Saturn. Well, if it <laughs> drops into Saturn, there's not much you can actually do. 250 years transponder in term. And you didn't even scratch the paint. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right, now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Is it Terramorphs? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. 
Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. Ah. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Approaching that in. Well, in any ship would be suicide. EM Don't class. know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's going to be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is giving off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. So We're it's basically a failed star. Here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. Get it? Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick. Right? Faraday's cage. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. Yeah, but he didn't. This sounds came like a back. goddamn waste of time to me. The rook's right. We tackle one problem at a time. Can we track it, Mava? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC has been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. I promise you're gonna write that in your diary, little girl. Actually, yes. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Cheap services, that's all. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not going to be very disappointed. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. Of Minus course, bribes. it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Toft after the debriefing. If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our break the next time you stop by the vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for the Ecliptic Hit Squad that you took down at the Archives. We're taking care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Yep. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. 
It sounds like you admire that lunatic. I think his gospel's gone straight to your head. Maybe we made a mistake choosing you for this assignment. That's enough, Lieutenant. Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the Legacy's transponder signal. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. Pretty high I'll see up what I can find out. information leak. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Any attempt to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. Yeah, probably all of these infiltration operations to Crimson Fleet have failed just because there's a leak. My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy, I've been told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Crix's legacy first. A lot of us had our doubts about you. But you're really making progress with this operation. Sentiments are shifting. <laughs>